I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, <laughs> oh boy, what a crazy time we're living yes. in. And uh, we're going to focus on the positive. Um, Easter exactly. Easter is just around the corner. Yeah, you um, can't stop Easter. That's it's right. Coming. That's right. <laughs> Passover is coming, and there's all these or it's here things. Or, or Passover yeah. is here, and it's so many reasons to be happy <laughs> yes. about uh, what we have to be thankful for. Wonderful. So we're going to show you something that you're really going to be thankful for because <laughs> yeah. you're going to want to make it. It's the most amazing side dish. It is our maple, maple braised, braised carrots. carrots. Maple braised or maple glazed? Braised. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we rehearsed that so many times and well if you would enunciate a little bit oh more. that's the problem okay so let's talk about this um i mean they these are, are glazed delicious. but they're really braised the way they're cooked so these are fresh uh, carrots uh, it's so easy to do this this is one of the easiest dishes and you get such great results yes. so i take four i get four large carrots i just quick you know give them a good peeling and then what i do is i get a knife and i cut off the top and then you know what that's about two inches long you make i call these little matchsticks kind of thick yes. matchsticks um just cut about two inches off of the carrot and then uh then turn it on its side and you can probably get three slices out of that and then just cut it and you what your yeah. goal here is to get uniform um, matchsticks. Yes. You know, I'm our, as uniform as you possibly can. An executive chef in New York City would have probably look at these and say, uh, no, that's not going to do. But um, for us, you know, yeah. and all of y'all. And for your family, they're um, just it's, fine. It's great. Usually the, the idea is that you want them to be as close to the same size so that they'll all cook evenly. They don't stay around long, so they you do. won't even notice. Yeah, well, they look pretty when they're done uniformly well, but more importantly, they cook evenly. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. So that's the whole point of it. Okay, so now let me go tell you over here in a nice large skillet. So good. What Such a great I did is I uh, melted two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and then this is just, I added uh, one chopped shallot. You could use onion, um, but shallot Salad's has a little, so a little more sweetness to it, yes. and it's in the onion family, and it's delicious. So good. Um, okay, so then this literally cooks just for a few minutes, three to four minutes, until it's nice and translucent. So yes. give me those carrots. You want the carrots? I need some carrots. I used to not like carrots until Chris started making them like this. You know, <laughs> add a little sugar to your carrot. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, I mean, a little it's maple a little maple to your syrup. carrot, then I'll eat it. So, <laughs> now this, re this recipe will feed a family of four, um, and and if you obviously if you want to if you're fortunate enough and you've got a large family and you're that you're stuck in the house with you can double the or, recipe or with no not problem. fortunate <laughs> yeah, yeah or whatever however you want to look depends at that. on how you get along so with now we're <laughs> beautifully i'm sure um, now we're adding about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper i like to generously kind of salt and pepper these and just kind of move this around until they get nice and coated and then what we're going to do is my favorite thing. This is pure uh, maple, maple syrup. syrup. So use, mm. I don't use, if you can avoid it, don't use, you know, just pancake syrup. Uh, sure. Pure maple, is, maple syrup. is always better. And that was three teaspoons of that. And then I got a cup of good quality uh, chicken stock. Now, if you want to make this completely 100% vegetarian, no problem, just use vegetable stock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we're going to do Stir that kind of all up, and this is so easy. So now I'm just going to crank my heat up. Crank it. I'm gonna crank it. And then we're gonna bring that to a boil, and then I'm gonna reduce the heat and cover it and let them braise. Ooh, all right. Okay, all right, so that was quick. That was yeah. only um, eight minutes. So like we said, we what we did is we brought this to a boil, and um, once it had a nice boil to it, we, I just covered it. I, well, I did lower the heat, right, yeah. and then I covered it. So this Got has it. been going for, uh, like I said, about eight minutes. These are so good, I can't wait until they're done. I know. So. Oh, wow, uh, look at that. Delicious. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> so now we are going to, I'm going to turn the heat. Well, it's, about, it's, it's good. I may, I'm going to crank it up just a little bit again. Now. Crank so, it. So turn it up a little bit. And now what we're going to do is, so you were asking me earlier, why yeah, is it? Yeah, what, what's the difference between braise and glaze? Well, it's just braising is the cooking technique. It's oh, a, right. It's like a combination of dry uh, heat where you're, when we first initially did a very quick saute. Uh -huh. And then but primarily it's about, it's cooking in liquid that's Got what cooks it. either the meat Braising. or the yeah um, right so that's what this is the doing. meat or the vegetable right so now this is going to we're going to just let this continue cooking um it smells so good until um <laughs> that most of this liquid has evaporated and the carrot sticks are incredibly tender and that takes about anywhere from eight to ten minutes so good oh, oh 
my gosh. So now, you know what, Wesley, you you were right. I mean, these are basically glazed. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Thank we were you. So we braised them, and now they're glazed. <laughs> um, they're braised glazed carrot. So, so you can good. see that this is now, that this is really reduced down. It, it's concentrated that uh, chicken stock and that maple syrup just helped uh, just mm. uh, really become a glaze. Okay, so now we're really, we are done. We are ready to I eat. love it. So now the yes. final touch to this is, um, I love to add a good helping of uh, oh, freshly chopped fresh parsley. Bugs um, Bunny would love these carrots. I know. <laughs> is this not the, the like the most beautiful <laughs> spring dish ever? I mean, it's, it's so, so good. Could you also just do slices of yes, carrots? Yes, of course you could. Yeah. You could do these that. These just look so cute that way. I I love the matchsticks. I mean, and they, you, can you use like baby carrots, like that still have the, the ends on them? You you can. I yeah. just they're, they're you know the thing about those baby carrots is that they. Um, oops, I made a little mess. Yeah, I usually do. Yeah, yeah um, you did. <laughs> Look at that, they, people. Usually the baby carrots still have a little like an outer skin on them, and so they they. But you can use the baby carrots absolutely. Mm. These are mm, so good. Look, yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Wouldn't it be beautiful sitting next to your Easter ham? Yes. Uh, all gotten potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's spoon me some up. <laughs> this should oh. be the name of your me memoir. Spoon me some up. <laughs> So Spoon life, me up some. <laughs> the life and times of Wesley Lou. Oh, here, I'll put enough on here because I know you're going to eat a little bit of it. Yeah, well, thanks for thinking of <laughs> yes. me. Oh, those are so beautiful. And so, I mean, the, the didn't completely 100% uh, cook out all the liquid you still want. It, it becomes like a little bit of a sauce. Look at how good. That looks great. This is sitting good. next to a ham. Forget about it. Oh, well, it is sitting next to a ham. <laughs> In front of it. <laughs> oh, they're so tender. Look at that. Yes, they are. It's it's kind of crazy how just those simple ingredients. I know. That's nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. Those that is so good. So flavorful. The maple syrup, but then also the the salad in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the butter. <laughs> no, just not, it's just two tablespoons of butter. Just so, yeah. two tablespoons. That's fine. <laughs> oh my! These are so good. They are, and they're just like mm, spring, spring delicious. And, just, oh. and they're like festive. Yes, and they're one hundred percent Luna approved. <laughs> oh, all is right in the world. They are at least with so carrots. Good. Thank you. Get in there. I, okay. Get in there. <laughs> oh, oh, then they're real, they seem to be really tender. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. It is true. They're super tender. Mm. They're super duper tender. If you have anyone in your family that like the kiddos that think they don't like carrots, feed them these, and I mean, they will be like, "Okay, I'm a believer. <laughs> I'm a carrot believer." <laughs> now you can get this recipe and many more on howtobeatalume.com. That's right, and you know what to do. Go to our social media, share, like, tell all your friends, and um, wow, hug so each other cool. extra hard. Well. Only if you're in the same house right now. <laughs> don't, you know, don't, let's not, let's no social, <laughs> so, wave and yeah, blow kisses. Exactly. And make carrots. Mm. Mm. Bye, everyone. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>